I'm going to give you a tour. My name's Joe. I'm a second year novice. Just as you walk in on your right, it's the office of Brother Larry Huck. He's the assistant novice director, which we call the Socius. Another room is called the Making Commons. It's used for work and most more specifically for art, which you can see on the far desk, and there are some works in progress. So you come across the hall, you'll see St. Stanislaus Koska, our patron, and we'll come right into the chapel. Here's the chapel. We'll spend three times a day in prayer. That's morning prayer, mass, and night prayer. We'll come through the chapel, through the sacristy, and into the classroom. Here's the classroom here. These lights on. Okay. On. Oh, there they go. All right. <laughs> As you can see now, the lights are on. Most of what we study is written on the board. That's the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Uh, we study a large portion of Jesuit history and then the constitutions of the society. Also, the classroom doubles as our music room. So on the wall are a lot of instruments for people, for novices, who have that gift. That's not so we'll come out of the classroom into Florence and Parlor, which as you can see is just a room of seats. And we use this to discuss weekly um, in a meeting called Cura Personalis, when we gather to talk about our faith, to talk about what the Lord is doing during this time in the position. Continue. Your standard bathrooms. St. Clair Sala, named for St. Clair of Assisi. It's just a TV room for movies and hanging out. I'm out of there. And into this corridor. See the library in front of you. We'll come back here later. Now we come into a rupee hall, which is the central room of the bishop and the most, the largest of them all. And this is a communal room for recreation. You see the foosball table, pool table, ping pong table by the door. It's for hanging out, for relaxing, for spending time with one another. There's a kitchen area back here for making meals for ourselves on Saturdays and Sundays, and uh, it's just a great room, a great place to spend time. There's a stage right there and a chessboard, more opportunities for recreation. Speaking of recreation, we've come into the staircase where we keep our bikes, sports equipment, you see balls and rackets there for the tennis, which is played out here on the tennis court. So we have a tennis court, a basketball goal in the back, and then a large green space where you can play a lot of sports such as ultimate frisbee, soccer, and what have you. All right, we're gonna head upstairs to Loyola Hall where our vendors are kept. Average novice bedroom. Here it is. Dressers for clothes, mirror, sink, chair, desk, and a place to sleep. That's all you need here. The judge and the bishop. And then another very, very nice uh, addition to Loyola Hall is this favorite prayer room. A little oratory for private and personal prayer. You can see the painting on the wall recently renovated by another second year novice named Giovanni and uh, something tells me it's going to get a lot more use because of that beautiful painting. All right so we're coming out of Loyola Hall. We'll just come by the common closet real quick. See in the common closet there's clothes, there's books. These are all hand-me-downs from Jesuit novices in the past so that if we need any of these items we have access to them. Okay, we'll just head upstairs really quickly. I'm 
moving around. That's the door to what is called Kohlenbach Hall, which is just another set of six bedrooms. So we won't go up there now. Coming down directly in front is Father Drew Kirschman's office, the modest director. And we'll go down to the bottom floor now. Back to the library, I'm at a full circle, and as promised, we will enter. This is the library. There's a lot of books in here. Uh, most of them are under the title of Jesuitica, which classifies books about Jesuits, about Ignatian spirituality for Jesuits. Pretty large library, um, large for a formation house but we have two levels here of many books waiting to be read. We'll come upstairs. Having come upstairs, we enter the computer room, which has three computers available for us to use to check emails, type papers, what have you. All right, we'll continue down and go to our last room. Okay, having exited the library, we'll come to our final room, which is the laundry room. Here we have dryers, washers, and then an old dentist chair that's been converted into a barber chair where we receive haircuts from other novices. And coming outside, that completes the tour of the Jesuit novitiate Stanislav Skoska.